Hey guys, Derek here. Welcome back to the channel. We are back reacting to another episode of The Wheel of Time. This is episode four. It is called The Dragon Reborn. Uh, before we jump into it, uh, please consider leaving a like on the video. It means a lot to me. helps my channel out a lot. Uh, if you're new here, consider subscribing. Stick around. Um, and then if you want to see the full-length reaction to this episode, consider supporting me on Patreon. I post all my full uncut reactions over there. On Patreon, you can also become a super supporter and get featured in every single one of my videos. Uh, now, what happened last time on the Wheel of Time? Uh, the la last time we had um, Perrin and Egwene uh, running away from the city, um, thinking they're being chased by wolves, but really the wolves were kind of like herding them to safety. And now they're with this like group of nomads or something like that, trying to find the song. I don't know what that means necessarily. Um, we had Moraine and Lan on a different side of the city after escaping and Moraine is like super sick. Um, and they got uh, surprised by Nynaeve who did a tiny bit of healing for Moraine, but now they're probably gonna get more from the Aes Sedai. And the episode ended with them uh, coming up on the Aes Sedai, uh, the mean one especially, um, and they had a guy in a cage who was claiming to be the Dragon Reborn. Uh, meanwhile, Rand and Matt went to this like town and they thought they met a nice bartender and turns out she was a psycho and like wanted to kill them or, or no, turn them into the, the dark one. Uh, she was a dark friend, but then she got killed by their new friend, uh, Tom spelled T-H-O-M, and he was really cool. He he talked to Matt about stealing stuff, and, you know, it, he was just real nice, and he uh, he seems friendly, because he was like, this little, this man on the ground that's dead, you know, the red-haired man, um, he was like, this, this sucks. <laughs> he was killed by cowards. Um, so he seems like a generally good dude, and I didn't notice until after, but like, after he talked about that guy's like signature red hair and how like this group of people has it, it like cut to Rand. So I think Rand is, um, well, one, I think he's not from the two rivers. Him and his dad like live in the mountains, right? I think they kind of came from somewhere else maybe, I don't know, but he could be like a descendant of those type of people, I don't know. Um, but we're gonna find out. So let's jump into episode four. Of the Wheel of Time. Gale. Oh, that's where the the war is. Oh. Oh, this guy does magic. Dark magic. All right, neat. Is he crazy? I suppose it's hard to tell from that, but he looks fairly in control of his emotions and sanity. What does a crown mean to the dragon reborn? I don't know. <laughs> Be done with it, slow game. Okay, no, this dude's crazy. To the white tower. Yeah, you talking to nobody, brother. Kill him. You would like that. You crazy. You've got mad already. <laughs> Oh, so close. Good try. Gonna kill you with your own dagger. That's not good. <laughs> Never mind, he's just gonna kill you a meaner way. Oi. He'll betray you. Just like your parents. Okay, rude. Just like your sister. Brother. None of them understand who you are. Why is your dark magic talking to you like this? Boy, what? Why'd he heal him? Okay. It's like you're on my team now. Could have killed you, but I didn't. There's a place for anyone but my side. Neato burrito. Maybe he's nicer than we thought. Okay, but you're gone crazy and your magic is talking to you in evil ways. 
So, is that common? <laughs> I don't, I don't think so. You're gonna be in trouble, man. This thing keeps telling you to kill people. <gasps> Hooray! Ooh, it left a scar though. I want to meet this false dragon. No. You may be false, but there are thousands following him. Never mind, I guess they believe it. are cool with it. But you don't believe it, do you? He actually proclaimed himself the dragon and tried to march on the tower, and we don't need a trial to meet out the proper punishment. The Amalin seat commanded us to bring him to the tower for trial. Yeah, you dummy. He will decide what he deserves. Jeez. And she. <sighs> yeah, it's pretty tough. He's a, he's a strong bugger. You feel it now? He's just like meditating. He's having a grand old time. He's not even trying. <sighs> Shave his face. I never really understood your taste in traveling companions. Yeah, but you like her. She's just your type, man. We weren't gentle again without the trial. Rumor has it the Reds have been doing just that across the countryside. Even Leandrin won't cross the Amelin seat. It's the Amelin seat, like, uh, like the queen of the ice said, is it is it Susan? <laughs> and you need to is the Amlin seat Susan. I'll get some rest. I know that's not her actual name, but I just want to call her Susan. We're from Whitebridge. We got separated from the trading caravan. Is that so? <laughs> He's like, sure. <laughs> You're bad at lying. So that guy said, uh, Mountains of Mist. The Misty Mountains are something in Lord of the Rings. But you guys knew that. That a fate was coming for us. What if yeah. he killed her to make us trust him? I think that merchant from episode one is a dark friend too. The black dude. He seemed hella chill when things were going down. And I think Perrin's wife was one as well. This dragon could be one of five of us. Me, you, Perrin, Gwen. Who else? Nynaeve! Or that guy. Is he 20? It just looks super old. <laughs> you get used to it. You could have easily been blue, Arjun. Please. One water would never do. <laughs> is blue better than, uh, than green? Or is like, is green, green. Is green like the healers, and blue is like so the spies, <laughs> and red is like, red is like ice, Warriors going to deport to people. <laughs> from the, dark one. the end of this age is here. You guys didn't even get PlayStations yet. It is. But what if the dragon is supposed to be there with us, but we've let the reds gentle him? Oh, he got complacent. How long have you known Moraine? 37 minutes. This mayor's afraid of her own shadow. Oh, well, maybe she's afraid of your shadow, brother. We're just passing through. Most people stay on their horse for that. We'll get back on them. Keep riding if you let it. Oh, wait. Hey. You put that dagger back. I'm sorry. I'm... You don't want to kill us. If you did, you draw that bow with your fingertips, not your fist. And if I wanted to kill you, I'd have kept my mouth shut just now. Fair. And she chose the blue Aja. Which fits, really. They're nothing more than little spies Ooh, who That was great. Their They're spies. We protect the world from people who would misuse the one power. Even other eyes to die. Your face looks weird. 
<laughs> Why does her face look like she's had so much Botox done? The red tent is open to all. You are welcome around our fire. If you promise not to shove him into it. Well, <laughs> you can shove him into anything you want, though. <laughs> As we forswear violence and all instruments on it. What happens if you're attacked? They die. If you can. <laughs> You let yourself be killed. That's stupid. <laughs> Have you ever been in battle? Picked up a weapon, a sword, bow and arrow, <laughs> yes. an axe. Yeah. Yeah. And tell me, has your life been better or worse since you picked up that Arguably axe? worse. I think he's he's having a real bummer of a week. He's, uh, struggling. Prophet, you should take that dagger and throw it into the dirt somewhere else. What is this? Oi! It's not good. I can't take your doll. Oh, I have many more. Biggie's has always wanted to see the world. Maybe Brigitte can uh, protect him from the evil magic of that dagger. Jumping at shadows. Animals had the hair of whenever he passed. Yeah, but why? Nobody could figure out what happened. Because he's evil? Until he threw a rock. Without using his hands. Oh, he used magic. The hearse that I found while I was away. The rats. They gentled him. Gentled him. Cut him off from the one power Make fan. him gentle. Owen was sitting at the dinner table. He yawned. And then he picked up a steak knife. And slit his own throat like it was nothing at all. That would be traumatic. No bond is closer than an eye to die and... Uh... Have water. Not husbands and wives. Not parents and children. The three of them do. Bump uglies? They do, on the daily. I'm trying to <laughs> tire myself. He is ten years too old at least. Is he as strong as he went? I don't know. Dang, so Egwene's pretty strong. I don't think so. I don't know. Dreams. So do they Talks. think it's Egwene? Is that like their working theory? Wow, they're so nice to each other. I shouldn't have had a drink. You always get emotional when I drink. Their emotions travel both ways. I heard the roller coaster tycoon kid laugh. <laughs> you guys, have you ever heard that? Look up, look it up. You'll hear it all the time. Everyone keeps talking about the song. What is it? Freebird. It's by Leonard Skinner. It's pretty sick. Or Rolling in the Deep by Adele. There's only one way to end violence. Everybody everywhere has to stop. That's a tall I task. <laughs> I don't think that's ever going to work out for you. Do you really think that's possible? Absolutely not. I had a daughter. One day she went out foraging and bandits stumbled on her. When I found her, I could tell that they killed her for sport. I sat with her body for hours, just staring at the broken spear in her chest, trying to work up the courage to grab it and hunt down the beasts as they adopted her. Why did I? Wasn't gonna change she anything? Wasn't gonna bring her back? Nothing. What greater revenge against violence than peace? Ooh. What greater revenge against That's a good death? line. 
been like. I couldn't protect my girl in this turn of the wheel, but one day, long after I'm gone, the wheel will turn out my daughter's soul again. I do what I can to forge a better world for her then, where she can enjoy the life she should have had with me. Dang. That's, uh, that's some tough stuff, man. Okay, he's into her. Who is he? The man that holds your heart. Keith Urban. <laughs> you know, we leave the wagons when we turn 20. They live in the world for a while. You're like the Amish. Rum Springer! <laughs> they are the Amish. Leaf doesn't fight the wind. And, oh, like a leaf in the wind. Sometimes Firefly. the wind blows away from the tree. I am a leaf in the wind. Watch me soar. Spookiness about to happen? Oh. What are you hitting? Is that a person? It's all right. I got you. Is that the dark one? Who is that? Matt, what do you do? Matt. <gasps> you did not. Oh my god, he he did. I see you. The fight! Get him out of here. Oh no, that's a... Can you fight a fay? Dude, Tom, what a straight battle. Let's go, brother. Oh, you're out of knives, though. Oh no! So did Matt kill those people, or did the Fade kill those people? Oh, and he dropped her doll. <sighs> Freaking balls, man. You know, we know Tom's living though, right? He ain't gonna let some measly little fade thing kill him he had, he had two knives he, he he double wields knives those people don't die <laughs> what i didn't know you knew the old town a lot of things you don't know about her it's the last thing my parents ever said to me when they hit me in the cellar during an attack on our village. What's it mean? It's what the last king of Anethrin said to his wife. For the battle they knew they'd lose. We shall go into the land. So our children can always hold us. And we'll never be alone. It's nice. Try not to cry. You got this. You got this. You got this. <laughs> You're not exactly what I thought you were. Yeah. A land one dragon. Now kiss him. What was that? His name's I like Alan. Two legs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna call him that now. Alan Mondragoran. Uh, Arrows! Nice. Nice. Send him back. I got this guy. 
was not trying at all before. He says, what's up? God dang, son. Oh my god. They're insane. Yo, Nynaeve, do some magic. Oh, snapping trees in half. Meanwhile, this dude's just like, yeah, I'm ready. Oh. Loghain versus Moraine, 1v1, let's go. Why should I believe you're the Dragon Reborn? I can hear them when I channel. Who? Whispers of a thousand dragons that preceded me, a thousand lives. I've led. Interesting. They're teaching me how to do better this time. The wheel doesn't want anything. I can't. It just turns. Any more than a river or the rain can want something. Those are the whispers of madness. And as strong as you are, your power is a trickle. It's a pinprick of candlelight against the raging sun that will be the dragon reborn. Ooh. She says, you ain't shit, boy. <laughs> She's just buying some time for them to wake up. You did. Dang, that sucks. Does he die too then? Oh, no, he's not done. Ooh, dang, she's good. This girl's just clapping people. She's got two warders. That's how, that's how powerful she is. It's not gonna work. You just gave him some weapons to use. You broke the seal. Oh. God dang, son. Oh my God. Heal that man immediately. Right now. <laughs> Bruh, you guys. Okay, Ooh. first use of uh, real magic here. Do it, do it to it. Your future boyfriend, save his life. Ooh, that's what's up, that's what's up, Nine. Get it done, girl, get it done. God dang right. Ooh, freaking sick hair going wild. Everyone's Gucci. You can sit down, son. Like a radiant sun. Ooh. Does he think she's the Dragon Reborn now? Is he gonna give up? Are they gentling him? Wow. Oh, is he crying? Oh. Well, he seems like kind of a bad dude, so. She is very satisfied. I don't know if I feel bad for him. <laughs> oh, it's freaking and god darn it. Okay, Nynaeve just popping off there at the end. They're really uh they're really making us wonder who the who the dragon reborn could actually be cuz like like my, my guess up to this point had been Rand. 
But then when um when they were talking in the tent, they're like, oh, is is what's his face as as strong as Egwene? So they're like, maybe they think it's Egwene. And then they're like, ooh, the Dragon Reborn will be a raging sun. And then Nynaeve does this, and the guy's like, a raging sun. <laughs> it's like, okay, who is it? Like, it's not Perrin, I don't think. And I don't think it's Matt. So, like, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> um, but, yeah, we learn who Loghain is. Uh, he is the self-proclaimed dragon reborn. And he thinks that, like, all the previous dragons are talking to him. But it seems to be just... Um, the evil demons of the mist or whatever his it's, he's like it's like venom <laughs> just talking to him tell him to kill people all day but no he's like let's make an army um and at some point his army he gets uh captured and they don't show that which is interesting but yeah we spend a lot of time at this uh at this camp um before we talk about the camp let's talk about uh let's talk about Perrin and uh Egwene, they're getting to know the the song people the the nomads the amish people they're like the amish mixed with gypsies um they are neat they don't like violence i guess and the one lady has a really sad answer for why um because her daughter died and she's like what like what good is revenge it's not gonna give me my daughter back um and i think that kind of spoke to Perrin on a deeper level of maybe he's gonna take that to heart of like he's not gonna use violence on people anymore um something tells me he'll have to but like he's gonna try his hardest not to um and Egwene has a has a admirer that that dude that other dude I don't know his name um but he's like into her but he's like perceptive and he and he says what boy has your heart <laughs> She's not even, not even denying it. She's like, well, he's, he's not here. He's somewhere else. <laughs> um, and that's pretty much like the extent of that. Like nothing much happens in their little caravan. They're just kind of going with them as they head east. Um, ooh, meanwhile, Rand and Matt and Tom, they're just kind of, they're on their little journey, but both Rand and Tom are noticing that something's going on with Matt and they they think it's because he was using magic but it's I think it's because of the dagger like you could see the the black like the black goo or whatever like coming out of his mouth uh like the goo that like attacked them um in the evil city I think he it, it like it like possessed this dagger and then now that he has it and is like taking it with him it's like possessing him and it gives him some sort of like supernaturalness because he noticed like he knew the fade was there I think I don't know if the fade is the one that killed those people or if Matt did but either way um they they stroll up to this town and they want to sleep there and it's just like not going good um Tom tells Rand a story about his nephew who went crazy from using magic and then when he didn't have it anymore because the reds took it he killed himself um which it really just makes you kind of feel bad for the for the people that like the reds um take it from like like <laughs> like they literally feel like they are nothing like they're worthless they're just an empty shell um so when they take that one guy's magic at the end it's like okay yeah he's kind of being a bad dude and killing people although he is kind of like self-defense i mean i don't know because he, he did have an army and was like i'm the dragon reborn i'm gonna bring peace to the land or whatever um but then they captured him and they're supposed to be the good guys but then he kind of attacked again I don't know it's very complicated and kind of fluid there isn't necessarily a bad guy in that situation because it seemed like he was trying to do the right thing but I maybe he didn't save the king for good reasons maybe he just saved him so that he could have him as part of his army I don't know and maybe his overall goals weren't as like pure as he said especially with the evil demon things like talking in his ears I don't know so I kind of feel bad for him, but, 
Um, yeah, Tom, Tom and Rand both know that there's something going on with Matt, and Rand has this interesting dream um, where he, it looked like he was maybe like back in the two rivers or whatever, and all his friends were there, and um, there was just some bad juju going down. I don't quite know what happened with that. Um, Perrin was beating a dead body with a, with a hammer. <laughs> So whatever that means. Um, and then they walk, they run into this cabin and all the people there are dead, including the little girl. And it's like, ah, oh. and it's very confusing. Cause it, I, I think they intentionally, uh, they intentionally made it. So it's ambiguous about who killed those people. Um, I think at first it's meant, you're meant to think that it was Matt, but then that fade comes out and, so I think it was the Fade that killed them, but it could have been Matt. But like the dagger, the possessed dagger, I think when he's like holding it or doing something with it, not always, but in this case, it was possessing him. And like the voice that spoke, I don't think that was Matt. I think that was something else because it was like, I see you. <laughs> and it's like, okay, <laughs> that's creepy. Um, but they bail, they get out of there and Tom stays to fight this thing because he's a badass um he's definitely not gonna die this is not the last we see of tom maryland thomas maryland um <laughs> the state of maryland um he's cool he dual wields daggers so he's gonna live um but yeah there's something going on matt needs to figure his shiz out brother um when and we gotta we gotta keep an eye on that <laughs> uh i heard i don't I heard um, the actor who plays this guy, who plays Matt, is leaving the series after this season, and they're going to recast him. I don't know why, um, but that's a bummer. He seems to be pretty good in the role, and I like him. So um, hopefully the newer actor, I don't know. It's always That's always a struggle is like when you like the previous actor. Like, will the new actor just try and do, like, an impersonation kind of not an impersonation but like are they going to copy the first actor or like do their own take or are they like because if they're both following like who the character is in the books would they come to the same result i don't know um but that's a bummer that he's leaving but okay so the main the main juju stuff happened at this camp um where we're kind of we're getting to know all these all these eyes to die and just kind of the different branches. So we got three different colors at least. We got green ones, blue ones, and red ones. The green ones are like they're kind of like healers or protectors or defenders or whatever. So at least I think. I mean, I assume they actually can probably all do that all of it, but like it seems like the green ones are the more like like chill, like peace loving let's plant some trees <laughs> I don't know. um and the blue ones which moraine is 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 like the spies they're the ones that go out and get the info and like they're the ones traveling getting secrets um from people and then the red ones are like they're like the soldiers they're like whatever needs to happen to make this thing good whether we have to kill people or whatever we got to do we gonna do it we're going to twist the the things to suit what we want. Um, we're going to get Botox. <laughs> I, I don't know if that lady actually got Botox, but like something about her face, the main red lady, something about her face. It's just like square and her cheeks are ginormous. So it looks like she just got a ton of work done, um, but maybe not. Um, but Nynaeve is spending time with all these people and learning that um, they're not as bad as she thought they were. You know, she's been holding this grudge against them from her her previous master's master, her previous mentor's um, supposed interactions with them. Um, and she kind of hated them for that. And then she's learning that they're kind of chill. Like, the at least the warders are pretty dope. <laughs> she's like having a good time with them by the fire. Um, and, you know, we learn that their connection with their people is, like, deeper than anything. Um, so when that 
one lady died, that guy must have been, like, devastated. Um, and they're, like, emotions and feelings and pain and stuff goes both ways. So he, fe he felt that spooky darkness dagger to his heart. Um, and we learned that, like, at least for part of it, Lan, Alan, <laughs> uh, Lan and Moraine think Egwene is, like, the strongest one. Like, the strongest of these people um and this dude's like hella strong and they're like is he as strong as her and he, she's like i don't know i don't think so it's like what how strong is he gwayne <laughs> like, what is going on man i don't know um and like they're just they're trying to keep this dude at bay and i knew from the beginning i was like this dude's not even trying <laughs> He's just, he's just waiting. He's waiting for his army to get here so he can just clap cheeks. Um, and as soon as, as soon as his army's there, he's like, all right, I'm done with this. Um, and it's, it's crazy, man. Uh, we get a nice moment between Lan and Nynaeve where he's praying for his people and, you know, hoping they find their home again. And, he tells her the meaning of the words that her parents said to her before they went to die where they were like, we know we're going to die and lose this battle and never see you again, but we are going to the earth, uh, to which you can tend and we will always be with you. And I think that's kind of sweet. Um, and their bond is definitely growing, which is nice. Um, uh, but then this big freaking battle starts cause freaking Loghain's army is here and they're here to jack stuff up like they're going ham but the the Aes Sedai are like shooting fireballs and crap and like knocking trees down and just just generally doing work <laughs> like healing on the fly like they're incredible um like they're they're insane <laughs> um and Moraine is having a conversation with this dude where she's like why should I why should I believe you like why it like if you can convince me that you're the dragon reborn sure i'll fight on your side and it'll be gucci uh and he's like well the wheel wants me to be the dragon reborn i hear them all and she's like mm, no <laughs> you're done you're done <laughs> she's like boy the wheel wants nothing the wheel is just a is just a omniscient non-being that just goes <laughs> like it it has no wants and so she's like i know you're not the dragon reborn based off that also i want to tell you you ain't shit <laughs> she's like i just just a parting word of of insult you're a you're a little candle <laughs> you're a little bitch boy <laughs> like you ain't nothing uh you are a candle in in the in in comparison to a blazing sun like get out of my face <laughs> and uh like they're all trying to contain him and the the one dude the one dude almost kills all of them because <laughs> he drops his axes in there and gives this man just enough to like get his dark power out of the seal and just like obliterates everybody everybody's gonna die like every single person there is bleeding out profusely and since Nynaeve is now newly in love with Alan um she's like nah! <laughs> kind of like um in Harry Potter when when in Harry Potter 3 when he's like expecto but <laughs> you know she she did the patronus spell and healed everybody and just clapped this man and then they all got up and they were like okay time to die i think he was actually maybe gonna give up honestly i don't know if they needed to uh take his power from him although maybe because he was like when he saw it he was like raging son so i think he like in that moment he might have been like fully converted and was like i'm on team naive now <laughs> Uh, but then they took his power and he was crying and it was sad and the one lady just seemed super like vindicated she was like yes I finally got to kill this guy like mm. even though they didn't kill him but she was like yes took his power you suck it's all ours like she's just so mean I don't like her um 
but yeah, freaking A, man. <laughs> I feel like this, this, this episode had less stuff that I like noticed that might pertain to future plot points, but I really enjoyed it. I think this was like a really good, like character building episode for at least a few people. Um, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of set multiple people on their way of thinking, I think. Uh, with Perrin, I think he's going to be kind of set on the no violence train for a little bit now. Um, Egwene, she's, I don't know what her thought process is currently, but she's just trying to find Rand. <laughs> she's just, she's in love and, uh, and if it takes 50 years to work back to that relationship, I think she's, I think she's going to try maybe, I don't know, or maybe she just really wants to find Nynaeve. <laughs> um, Moraine is just as confused as ever about who is the Dragon Reborn. She thinks it's one person and then Nynaeve does this and she's like, well, frick. <laughs> like, what? Um, like, who knows what's going down? Um, yeah, Lan, Lan and Nynaeve, they're, uh, they're getting, they're getting a little close. At least kind of friends now. Um, they should still make out at some point. That would be dope. Um, yeah, Rand and Matt, they're kind of developing the, the spooky story. And Rand is like, bro, I'm here for you. I got you, man. Like, no problemo. You my dude. I got you. And it's just like, oh. Um, what else? I don't know. Um, <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what else to say about the episode. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, how many episodes are in this season? I should figure that out. Um, either way, this was a solid episode. Um, let me know what you guys thought of this episode down in the comments below. Um, without spoiling anything, uh, obviously, tell me what you thought. Um, yeah. If you enjoyed this episode, if you enjoyed my reaction, please leave a like on the video. It means a lot to me. helps my channel out a lot. Um, if you're new here, hit subscribe. Stick around catch more reactions to the Wheel of Time or any other show that I'm watching on the channel. Um, and then if you want to see the full length reaction to this episode, consider supporting me on Patreon, post all my full uncut reactions in watch along format. So you just sync up your own copy of the show and you can watch along with me on Patreon. You can also become a super supporter and get featured in every single one of my videos. But other than that, thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.